Hey guys and welcome once again to my channel if you have been here and if you haven't it is so nice of you to pass by so for today's video i'm going to be creating this desktop calendar for only a dollar so if you want to see how i did that just keep on watching okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is open microsoft word and then i know that you can't see it very clearly but i'm going to search for like the templates that they have i'm going to search for a calendar so once i select the one that i have i want one that is horizontal and that's what i picked and also i selected one that starts on sunday as opposed to monday that's just what i wanted to do then the next thing that i'm going to do is select the whole design of it and instead of blue i want it to be all black so i just changed it to what i want it to be it's just black and white very simple very easy and that's what i did but the design that i selected had i don't know if you can see that but there's no separation between the days so i selected the chart once again and then i just selected a grid right here and that gave me lines in between as you can see right here and that's just the look that i was going for then i'm going to go ahead and delete the month and the year because i don't want any writing on this at all i just want basically the chart and the line once i deleted that i scrolled down and also erased some writing that was in the bottom that i just did not need and did not want the next thing that i'm going to do is select the whole row of the days of the week and then i'm going to make the font bigger because it was pretty small i put it i set it to 12 instead of 9 and then I'm going to select the days, like the columns for the days and make that bigger. And then that fit the whole page perfectly. Then I don't know if you can see right here, but the days, like the number of the day is separated from the actual column of the day so i did not want any lines in between that so once again i just went to borders and lines and eliminated the line that's in between the number and the actual day for that number if that makes sense so you can see right here and then i'm just going to repeat that for every single row okay so once i'm done with that i'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see the numbers a little better but i'm also eliminating the numbers because again i don't want any actual info on this calendar i just want the chart itself then lastly at the top it was the two lines that you see were like a box and i didn't want both lines so i just deleted the top line for it and that's going to be it i'm just going to print that page and it's ready then this is the frame that I'm going to be using. I got this at Dollar Tree. It was the only thing that I had to pay for because obviously I already had a printer and scissors and all of that. So this page was bigger than what the calendar was. So once I put it inside the frame, I could see what I had to cut. It was only a little bit of excess paper. And then once I cut that, I just put it inside the calendar once again. And that's basically it that's pretty much ready but what I really like about this is that since it is plastic or acrylic I can just write on it and erase and just keep reusing as opposed to like changing the sheet all the time for every single month so this marker I already had and if you don't have one I've also seen these type of markers at Dollar Tree they're only a dollar and I think for two of them and that's pretty much it i'm just writing now the name of the month which is september and then i'm just going to write the days of the month as well and then i'll just put some important events or some important days in the month that's going to be it for this video thank you so very much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos i do have a few more diys going up in the following weeks and then we're going to get started on christmas stuff around november so again thank you so much for watching and have a happy rest of the week bye